Master Power coming at you with a uh, kind of like a little bit of a follow up video where this will be spliced on to the other video of getting the trough made for the lathe and that's in operation right now. Now if you're wondering, it does work, it just drips a little slower than I thought it would so you just got to get the uh, tube at the right angle too. So the problem I've been having lately is um, so what I use on this lathe is a rocker style lathe. Now what it does is it sits in here, then you put the part in between. The problem is, I only got one that's really small and the rest are big. They don't fit. So what I'm going to do is machine, try to machine another than one of these down except with a bigger hole. No idea how I'm going to cut the hole out, but at least want to try to get this machine down. And then what I have set up is a uh, this end has a ball bearing on it, so then it's just backed into that. And this is locked somewhat tight in the lathe. And this thing is not level whatsoever. But this end is a little bit level. So I'm just going to try to get a nub cut off. Then put that in the lathe and turn that down. Because I do not want to turn down something this big. Because I don't even think this lathe was designed. I mean, I've seen people do it. But I'm not really... How should I say this? This could go very wrong very quick. Good way to put it. So, I'm gonna put this back, the uh, rocker style tool post holder back together, get the little bit in, and I'm gonna start machining down. I'm gonna machine like a groove into this, and then what I'm gonna do is get a, uh, not a groove, a cutter, and then just cut it through. So, watch me do that right now. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, is you gotta center your bit so that whenever you start it's not all cockeyed. So we got that kind of very uneven piece milled out. And then I'm going to part it right here with the parting tool. Then can put this piece in, then turn it down and 
should be good. Yeah. Nothing to it but to do it. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. Never seen that. Sorry, I just had to show you that one. That was pretty cool. That was really cool. It's like a little wind tornado. All right, so we got the uh, fold on the lathe, and yes, I did cut that off off camera. Did get a little frustrated with that because I bet you kept slipping. But so we got that in, got that in now. I feel like that's pretty on. So yeah. So it's all tight now. I guess gotta cut it down. Watch that right now.
All right, another day on the uh, tool post holder, rocker style tool post holder project. So, last time you may have saw it, but we got that completely trimmed up. Still gonna do that bottom end and get that completed, but now I got it tapped. I got the tap most of the way through. Still, it's actually up to like rate that edge, but I want it to go a little bit deeper because with the one I got over here, I mean, it's that much surplus, but I want it to go deeper because this one's like that much taller. So then, like I said, I gotta cut out that indentation so it'll fit in this slot in the uh, piece. So get that done. Also, it may be the thumbnail at the beginning of this video, but I have a very interesting picture. And this vise I have right here, it was one of my original vices, but the problem is it has a crack in it. I want to build a new base for it, but I don't have the steel for it. So I had this stuck on top of that one with two bolt with these two bolts holding it in place, shoved down these pieces. Now it works until I was completely turning on this with all my force and it slipped off and fell on the ground. And yeah, it didn't really go over so well. I mean, it's not broken, it still works, but for now, I'm just gonna use this one since I can get a better grip on it. And then when I'm done with this one, take it off and put that one back on. And if you're wondering, that is actually a wood vise, I think, for like woodworking, not a metal one. So, I mean, it gets the job done until I get another one, so. And you make do with what you got. So now that's what you watch right now. Get the rest of this tapped. And throw it on the lathe. Turn that little bit down, and then turn it sideways, and then drill out the center piece, and then hopefully we can get that done today. Yep. Also, if you're wondering, it does fit. The nut does fit in. It's just you kind of gotta work it. You can't. You gotta thread it in the right way. I, I don't know why it's, it don't like these threads too much, but because it, it will go cross thread very easily so I don't, I don't know if it's just because it's not so old and it's worn or something so you just gotta tighten up the right way and it'll work but works when it wants to don't want to don't so I mean whenever I get this put together it's not like I'm gonna be taking it off every time every day so yeah works to work done it done but none do it but to do it